Hey, Danny, how are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So I just watched Baphomet, and I really enjoyed it. Cool. Awesome. Well, that's always good news, isn't it? Sure, because I'm, I'm a huge horror fan, and, you know, not that, like, I'm anything special, but I always have, like, it, it takes a lot. I guess, because I feel desensitized after like I've seen hundreds, if not thousands of horror films and there's plenty to enjoy in a uh, bath May. So if you can tell me, you know, how you, you know, joined this project. Um, well, it was kind of strange, really. Um, the director, Mason Harris, uh, was a massive Cradle of Filth fan and had often come to see us in, uh, in Dallas. And uh, I just received uh, an e email one day saying, look, I'd love you to be, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my own movie. It's taken a few years, et cetera. I'd like you to be a part of it. Um, and I read the synopsis and uh, yeah, I thought, well, this, yeah, this looks a lot of fun. He's a really nice guy as well. He actually flew over to England to shoot uh, my scenes and used uh, a cameraman of mine and we just we just hit it off. We had a really good uh, couple of days while he was here. Uh, we've seen each other a few times since, naturally, uh, in Dallas. Uh, just keep in contact. And that was pretty much it. It sounds pretty simple. Okay. And I guess it, it was. Because yeah, like, your, your scenes, and you can maybe uh, tell me, because they seemed like, were they shot during the pandemic? Because they seemed like they were just on Zoom and everybody else was in the room with each other. So I guess how are your scenes shot because you play, well, no, no, uh, he, for, he flew no this was a, i mean I, I shot my stuff about three years ago okay um yeah 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 and i, I, I literally was doing a bit of method acting because he said like you've got to look a lot older than you are and i was like okay right so i just stayed up all night <laughs> 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 and didn't and didn't shave and uh, uh yeah okay okay but no they weren't done on zoom they were they were filmed actually in his hotel um, oh, okay. A very nice hotel in South Kensington in London. Um, it wasn't so nice the room after we got to it because we literally just uh, uh, emptied it. Uh, everything sort of kind of went up against the walls and everything, much to the hotel's distress. <laughs> and uh, the funniest thing was that uh, we all went out for celebratory drinks afterwards. And Mason came home quite inebriated back to the hotel and it was like, oh no. Everything, my bed's up against the wall. So we ended up sleeping in the bath. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a horror film in itself. Doesn't it? What is your, you know, if I can ask, what's your favorite horror of all time? Do you have one that's like kind of maybe special to you that when you, you, song, you saw when you were young, Danny, when you were a little film? Well, I'd like, say, I'd say, I mean, the thing that kind of really turned me on from just being a kid and being into monster movies, into fully fledged horror, I suppose, was American Wealth in London. Okay. Uh, just because I'd seen a bit of John Land John Landis had directed uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller, and I watched the making of Thriller, and it showed a few clips. So I asked my dad to, to hire me the video, and it was, yeah, it was the first film that truly scared the crap out of me. Um, so obviously, I hold it a little dear to my heart. I really also like. Um, I mean, God, when you ask somebody their favourite, it's like asking their favourite album. It's literally impossible. You could <laughs> run a list of about 20 films off. But also a massive fan of Bram Stoker's Dracula, just because of the timing of it and incidents and, you know, people that I knew around that time. Um, yeah, and I, the, I adore the soundtrack. Are we going to see you in more horror films going forward? Um, possibly. Possibly. I mean, we did our own movie quite a while ago back in 2000 in fact called Cradle of Fear um, mm. and I've done a few voiceovers for cartoons and, and, and such forth but yeah if the opportunity arises once more absolutely okay. cool because you see people like Corey Taylor do a lot of like their own horror films obviously Rob Zombie so it would be fun just to kind of see this uh, this rocker bracket of horror films kind of a kind well, yeah, of, of course uh, Rob Zombie's just given, been given the green light for the monsters Right. Which is uh, intriguing. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but hopefully it's a good thing. Yeah, exactly. If anything, I heard uh, Butch Patrick, who played the original Eddie Monster, is going to be in it. So hopefully he'll oversee oh, well, it. Make sure. Exactly, right? Yeah, right? I'm fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Danny, I know you got to go. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Baphomet was oh, amazing. Congratulations. And I hope we get to do this again. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, that'd be great for the new record. Awesome. Thanks so much, Danny. All right. Cheerio. Bye.